If you'd like to make something to be proud of and to get that sense of achievement making things by hand, then this course is for you. My name is Mahab. I'm the founder of Sulsal Online Gift Store. I've been working with polymer clay for years. I use it for making jewelry, charms, and home decor. And as I'm keen on sharing what I've learned in this field, I've started Sulsal School to give workshops and online courses for those who would like to make things by hand or those who want to start a small business based on making polymer clay products. In this course, I will teach you how to make floral necklaces using what's called applique technique in polymer clay. You will learn how to make necklaces with realistic and stunning flowers. You will also learn when and how to apply paints to polymer clay and how to protect the delicate parts of your design against breakage. By the end of this course, you will be able to make your own designs that could be either floral or not, as you would have gained the skill of making and shaping using polymer clay. So many other things would be easy for you. And don't worry if you have never touched polymer clay before, because this course will give you the fundamental knowledge about polymer clay, how to condition it, how to bake it, and all about its properties. Moreover, I have taken into consideration that you wouldn't have enough tools as a beginner. So I made some tutorials with the use of objects that would be accessible, such as an empty pen. And of course, if you have worked with polymer clay before and you want to learn this technique and to get some useful working tips and precautions, then this course is absolutely for you. The videos of the course were shot with high quality to show you the small details from different perspectives. So you can play them on your PC, tablet or mobile with clear image. And certainly, you have this course forever plus any future updates or any new designs from me. I hope you will enjoy the course and I'm looking forward to seeing your creative work.